Hi, my name is Paul Boudoir. I created a spreadsheet on OpenOffice for to record Tart Leads statistics. You enter the lead name here. You enter the dates in this section for a corresponding week. You change this every week. So when you're on the second week, you enter a two here. It'll display the second week date there. This is only if you use these. You record them here. You enter a two if you don't use them. And it will show it. For the teams, you enter the player name, sex, M or X lowercase. This is to keep track of absence if you're using and up to 24 teams. You define them here. 24 teams max, I'll say 18. And say three players per team. Choose a game, 2 1, 5 1, 7 1. So we'll do it. 5 1. Define skunks. If you won no games that night, if the other team wins and you score, your team still has 150 or more. Enter two. No skunks. So we'll do no skunks. How do you count tons? Score 100 or more. Enter one. If 95 or more, enter two. Use player averages. Yes to no. One or two. Count tenants. One or two. And 50 50 plus value pool prize winner. This is a magic number. We use that on Sunday night, early. We have a random, an extra gift award. So whoever scores a certain number, say 50, that's what we used last year. It will display the name and how many times they scored that name, the highest. They scored that score of 50. If you don't use it, just keep minus one. We got a four man stat sheet to print every week. It'll display week two and the date. It'll display whatever week number you have. And then a three man or a two man sheet that you print out. This is the standing sheet. If you had skunks, Defined, it'll display here. This is the 50 50 bull prize and punctuality word. If you don't use it, just add a graphic here if you like. Like these things here. It's called kind of like a dark word. And it shows only 18 teams. If you have 24, it'll show 24. Women's weekly high shot for that week, men's weekly high shot. These are printed on the back of the four mana slash sheet that you record in your dual tank. And this will disappear if you don't use absences. And this will disappear if you don't use modified average for players absent. And it only shows one player, three players. So add four players, it'll show four players. Up to 24 teams. So It'll display up to 24. You just print whatever teams you want. This is the print out every week for the rankings of high average, finishes, high finishes, high shot, tons, and 180s. This use these ones to print if you have less than 80 players. You print these ones if you have more than 80 players. There's no room on this one for more than 80 players. There's a range because it's probably meant more men than women or more women than men. These are optional printout sheets. It will display the team one and the player name and Total points here to date, total shots here to date. Okay, and I only showed 18. 
Yeah, 24 to show up. 24. This is the total of high finish shoots, high shot, money, absence, brief team. Then 2018. This, we don't have to print out. This is optional. If you record, keep track of monthly high shots for women and men. If you had a bull prize winner, it would display here for the month. September, October, November, December, January, for March, April. This is where you enter the information for each team. These have their own tab. 1 to 24. And we're on team one. You enter absent one here. You enter the shots here and the wins here. This will all populate. And that's for player one, player two, player three, player four. This is where you define the game. We have it at five and one. It will show the you keep track of total shots. There you go. See, we have a set of 501, so we'll display a 501. If we have more than 501, it will display more than 501, has one game over it. Less, well, that will change as you enter numbers. This is what I'll populate. This is the team that you print out so that people know what team they are. This is used to print the labels. If you have team names here, it'll all populate. They print out. These three tabs, you have nothing to do with. These are the formulas to calculate the, this one team averages and skunks and everything. This is the weekly high shots for everybody. Week one, to week five, all the way down. And this is the formulas. I used to keep track of high averages, high finishes, high shots, and this magic number. So, it's relatively easy once you do it a few times. You don't have much to do. Just, you can add the dates in one shot. When you add the dates, you can enter the first date the next week and auto populate it. But do not say if this date is not right or it's a holiday. Do not do this, it'll screw it up. If you want to add it, copy it. Copy and then paste. Or else you will change the cell reference. The dates might not be correct. See, there's no nine. There's no October 9, went to 15. But if you changed it this way, see how it took time? So it's September 24, October 15, 22nd. See, October 15, October 15. So do not there you go. And there's how to use right here. So it's pretty straightforward. There's not much once once you add the dates here. There's not much to do besides 
change the week number. Thirty is the max. Everything auto populates, you know macros or anything. And if you ever need help with anything, call me or email me. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's it for my spreadsheet. Oh, you can enter the league name here, which will populate up in the standing sheet right here. This you don't change anything on this. Actually, you don't change anything on any of the print pages, except for this one, which you have to. Have. I might do that in an update to auto populate multi high shots, but that would be a lot of work. Uh, thank you, and that's it. Goodbye.